linear sequences. We will be looking at what a linear sequence is. So let's have a look. So a linear sequence is where you have a constant difference between each term. For example, we might have two, five, eight, and 11. That is a constant difference in between them. So therefore it is a linear sequence because to get from two to five, you add three. To get from five to eight, you also have to add three. And then to get from eight to 11, you also have to add three. That has the same difference. Therefore, that is known as a linear sequence. Let's have a look then. You might have something like this, 90, 80, 70, and 60. Is this linear? Well, to get from 90 to 80, I have to subtract 10. From 80 to 70, I also have to subtract 10. And from 70 to 60, I also have to subtract 10. Therefore, that is also linear. However, we might have something like this. 10, 5, 10, and 5. Well, to get from 10 to 5, I have to subtract 5. But to get from 5 to 10, I have to add 5. And from 10 to 5, I have to subtract 5. Although I'm doing something with the number 5 here, it is not linear because I'm not doing the exact same to it. I am subtracting 5. Let's make this a bit clearer. Then I'm adding five and then I'm subtracting five. I'm not doing the exact same thing to it. Therefore, that is not linear. I might also have a, another sequence where we have a number one to start off with. Then we have three. Then we have six and then we have 10. Okay. How do I get from one to three? Well, to get from one to three, I have to add, add two. From three to six, add three, and six to 10, add four. Am I doing the exact same? No, I'm not. Therefore, this sequence is not linear. So that is what a linear sequence is, where you have a constant difference and you are adding or subtracting the same number. Okay, let's have a look then. If we have the sequence, one, four, seven, and 10, okay? And we are going to then plot this on a straight line graph. Now, what we're going to say is that one, four, seven, and 10 um, is our, our pattern, isn't it? It's our sequence. Let's just quickly draw ourselves a little, little line here. Okay, and get rid of the ruler, we do not want it. And I'm going to just write zero, one, two, three, four here. And I'm going to write here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay. So, this here, I'm going to write, I'm going to say, well, that here is my term, isn't it? This here, one, four, seven, and 10. Oops, let's have a jump back in. So we've got the sequence one, four, seven, and 10. And we normally say, let's say the first term is one, the second term is four, third term is seven, and the fourth term is 10. Yeah, so if I just write that there, it might make it easier. That's our term. Yeah, that's our term. So I'm going to write term here, and then I'm just going to write value here, value of our term. Okay, oops. Let's sort that out. Value. Okay, so if our term is one, our value is one, then two and four, 
and then three and seven, and then four and 10, okay? And then if I just get my ruler out, and I'm just gonna join that up, okay, if I can, on my edge, excellent. And you will find that I've made a straight line graph. And that's what happens when you plot a linear graph. You make a straight line graph. Now, if your sequence was nonlinear, you would then make a graph which is not a straight line graph. It would be a curved graph. OK, so, for example, you might have a sequence where you are adding two, then adding three, then adding four. We'll just use this one here. Yeah, so we're going to write term, which is one, two, three, four terms. The value of our term was uh, one, three, six, and 10, wasn't it? So then let's get a ruler. And draw a straight line. Um, okay, there we are. I'm just going to rotate the ruler. Like that. I'm going to do zero, one, two, three, four. I'm going to do um, one, two, three, four. Oops. Um, one, two, three, four, five is here, six is there, that's seven, that's eight, that's nine, and that's ten. And I'm just going to write term here. And I'm going to write value here. Okay, so term is one, and my value is one. Term is two, my value is three, three and six, and four and ten. Okay, and that kind of makes like a curve. Okay, so if you were to get a ruler that would not join up and make a straight line, um, that would make a curve. So that's what happens when you have a nonlinear graph. When you plot a linear graph, you will always end up with a straight line. And if you plot a nonlinear graph, you will end up with a curve. Remember linear sequences where you have a constant difference. It is only when you add and subtract. Um, if you are multiplying or dividing, that is something different because that is geometric sequences. So when you are adding or subtracting the same number each time in your sequence, that is known as a linear sequence. Thank you for watching.